Dear students, let's embark on a literary journey together. Please open up your literature books to the chapter we'll be exploring today and let the words weave their magic in our minds. Who I am. What are we going to discuss today? Who I am. Who are you? Are we same? Whether we all have same choice, same opinions, same outlook, same preferences? No, not really. So what do we want to be in life? And not only what do we want to be in our life, but what are your interests? One interest differ. Nature differs. In this entire world, there is no similarity in the fingerprints of even two persons. So basically, we all are different, right? Some children are good in academics. Some are best in sports. Some are having interest in doing mimicry. Some will have interest in music or painting. But everyone is different. Even wishes and desires may vary. And similarly, if everyone is unique in the one way or the other, everyone is unique. I am one of my own type. Because you are blessed. You are powerful. You are wow. You are that type who has different vision from others. You have unique talent. From dream to goal, everyone has different path. You just need to have a vision. And you have to have courage to do it. Now in this chapter, who I am. We'll read different stories. When we are on the path of growing up, we have huge desires. And let's see that which role your surrounding play to make you feel what do you want to be. Sometimes we learn from challenges. Sometimes we want to help somebody and sometimes we want to achieve our dreams. So there are different types of knowledge. Remember one thing, that we are all intelligent, good at different things. It's not compulsory that we know each other. We all are intelligent and unique and the best, right? So with that thing in our mind, we are going to start with a chapter, Who I Am. Aims and objectives of this chapter. The lesson is about personality and confidence building. It depicts how every child is different and unique. To teach children that we all are interesting people in different ways and we are all good in different things. The differences must be celebrated and accepted in the society. Each one's dreams, aspirations, likes and dislikes are different. So here comes the word meanings. Number one, number first word is sensible. It's adjective. Meaning is showing good judgment, reasonable and thoughtful. Second is preserve, which is verb. It means to protect from harm. Number third is borrow. It's a verb. It means to take or use something with the intention of returning it to the owner. Number fourth is interval, which is noun. It means a space or period of time between two events or actions. And last one is sail, which is a verb. It means to travel on water in a boat or ship using sail. In this lesson, we look at what we are like and how each of us is different. We are all interesting people in different ways and we are all good at different things. As you read this, think about what you are like and what you enjoy doing. So here comes the story, Who I Am. It's part one, many voices. So in this lesson, we look at what we are like and how each of us is different in a unique manner. We are all interesting people in different ways and we are all good at different things in this journey of life. Even members of same family are also different as five fingers of our hand are different. It's possibility that your brother likes sports, your sister finds interest in doing painting or trekking. So while reading this, think about what you are like and what you enjoy doing. So in this way, even likings and dislikings of siblings are different too. It can be anything. But yes, people are amazing at what they are. You love doing the tasks. Such tasks 
gives you feelings of relaxation, enjoyment and refreshment. So what is it? Think about it. What are you passionate about? What do you love to do? So let's move ahead. So here comes the first person, Radha. My favorite activity is climbing trees. Just outside our house, there is a mango tree, which I love to go up. Its branches spread out, so it's simple to climb up the tree. And I can sit comfortably in the fork of two branches. My mother tells me it's not sensible for girls to climb trees. But one afternoon, she climbed up too. And both of us sat there talking and eating raw mangoes. When I'm high up in the tree, I feel like I can rule the whole world. So here we have first person Radha. We are talking about a little girl Radha who says that her favorite work is climbing trees. There is a mango tree near her house and she loves to go up. It's so easy to climb that the tree, that tree because its branches spread out. It means the space between two branches where you can sit easily which is known as folk, okay? So she loves to sit there comfortably. And just like any other parent, her mama also instruct, instructs her not to climb trees. If you fall or someone has seen you doing this and etc, etc, it will not be good for you. It will not be good for you. But one day, both mother and daughter climbed together and sat there and they chit-chat ch ch with e each other. Ate raw mangoes, and they were talking like friends and enjoyed sitting there. When I sit on the tree, I feel myself as a queen. It's according to the Radha. I can, she was thinking, hey, I can rule the entire world from such height. You know, I get an edge, an upper hand it means that I can do whatever I feel like doing. So now before we move on to Nasir, what do we find about Radha? Let's see. So, after Radha, here comes Nasir. So, Nasir, when I grow up, I want to become a seed collector. We have cotton fields in our village. And every year, my father spends a lot of money on buying new seeds to grow our cotton plants. My grandfather told me that many years ago, he could collect the seeds from his own plants, which could be sown to grow new plants during next year. But today, that doesn't work. So we have to spend money to buy new seeds every single year. I want to find out why that is so. I want to learn how to preserve seeds so that we can use them again and not spend money every year. So Radha wants to achieve the heights in her life. Basically, she is not afraid of heights. So, a lot of things you can understand once you know about Radha and her dreams. So, here comes Nasir. He wants to become seed collector. Like, firstly, to grow crop. Firstly, we have to sow seeds. So, he loves collecting seeds. His dad is in cotton plantation. Means, to grow cotton trees. But it's very difficult. Why? Because every year he has to purchase so many seeds and it's an expensive thing. He has to invest so much money for that. Moving ahead, his, grandfa his grandfather had informed him that years ago they were in cotton plantation business. So years ago his grandfather himself also collect seeds. Whenever you see cotton plant, while extracting cotton out from the flower, only black color seed remains inside. So nowadays, every process takes place with the help of machines. So he wants to do seed collecting manually so that every year they can save a big part of money rather than investing it in seed collection. So they earn more, more profit and to make their livelihood better. But he says that they can't grow plants by collecting seeds because every year it's compulsory to collect seeds going there. He wants to know the answer why it's happening. Now what does Nasir wants to do? Nasir wants to preserve these seeds. Means to save these seeds. So that every year they don't have to buy seeds. And they can save some money. As we discussed in starting. 
as what we aspire most of the times it depends on our surroundings he is grown up boy and now he understands everything so he is tensed about his father's condition that every year he has to purchase those seeds and for this he has to invest a lot of money and cotton plantation is not at all easy and it's very difficult cause it takes a long interval to happen unlike other trees which produces more fruits or at same time in case of cotton reapen time of cotton varies so you have to continue this process for a very long time so that's the reason nasir would want to make his father's job easy so that he can give some comfort to his father so here comes rohi if i had a huge amount of money i would travel and travel i want to see the mountains of new zealand because they looked beautiful in the magazine picture i wish i could sail down the amazon river in south america on a raft i want to live on the beaches of lakshadweep and dive into sea coral dive down to sea coral i suppose i should go to the konark temple in orissa or the old city in beijing in china and the pyramids in egypt too but what i actually enjoy is seeing nature more than old buildings so let's talk about rahul rohit sorry now what does rohit want to do he wants to become a traveler rohit wants to travel the world now rohit while reading the magazine he might have seen new zealand mountains and he wants to go over there so he wants to take raft and desires to sail on the amazon river which is in south america his desire is to live on the beaches of lakshadweep dive down to see the beauty of coral what else he wants to go to the konark temple of orissa as well old city of beijing in china and wants to see pyramids after going to egypt but what he likes the most he loves nature gazing rather than watching buildings he loves watching or enjoying beauty of mountains water sea trees so while talking about rohit we come to know that he is free spirit person he is a great observer because he loves nature all things connected to nature so this was all about rohit sarbjit what makes me very angry is when people don't believe me when i am telling the truth for example if i tell my teacher that i couldn't do my homework because ravi borrowed my book and forgot to return it or i tell my parents that it wasn't me but my little brother who started the fight or if i tell my teacher that i really did study for the test even if i have got bad marks they all look at me as if they think i'm telling lies they look on their faces the look on their faces really angers me sometimes i have to look down at my shoes and count to 10 so that i don't show the time angry so let's explain about sarbjit like sarbjit there are many children even with grown ups too like if we have not committed any type of mistake despite of that other person feels as if we are culprit it happens sometimes between fight of the students teacher scolded third person despite not having any fault suppose your sibling fights uh, siblings fight with each other you have not even started the fight but mama scolded you without knowing the reality and sometimes you are in the grip of genuine problem where you act as culprit of no reason that time one feels so angry means if it's real mistake we can understand but if despite being innocent if deliberately other person put blames we feel angry so this is the problem with sarbji it happens sometimes mostly despite working hard you are not able to get that success which you deserve people don't understand this situation they feel as if i am a liar that looks uh, which shows their distrust really makes me angry so it was the opinion of sarbjit 
So he looks down and counts. And now what does he do from 1 to 10 to control his anger? Because he doesn't want to show others that he is angry. So Sarbjit doesn't like when people misjudge him. He can't tolerate. So it's the story of Dolma. When I grow up, I am going to be the Prime Minister of India. People always laugh when I say that. But I am sure that I will do it. Everyone in my class asks me what to do when they have a problem. And my teacher always trusts me when something needs to be done in school. I want to make things better for everyone. I want us to have good hospitals and roads and schools. I want to make sure that there are many good scientists in India who will invest cures for diseases and send a spacecraft to Mars. So further it's Dolma's turn. Children have big dreams and it's normal as dream is their life. If you follow the path, you will succeed. So let's read about Dolma. She is determined that she'll do it. She'll become the Prime Minister one day. So, the girl is showing her leadership qualities as everyone requires her guidance in case of trouble. Some students are teachers' favorite, about whom teachers know that they are responsible kids. So, she was one of them. She said, if in school someone requires her help, she always ready and they always come to her. So, she wants like people to have good roads, to provide good hospitals, good educational institutions, everything. Now, what else she wants to do? She wants to improve educational system to, to purchase maximum number, to produce maximum number of scientists so that they help in curing or finding diseases. And then later, she wants solution. She also wants to send the spacecraft, spaceships to Mars. So that's how it's her vision. So it's Peter's story. My favorite day is the second Sunday of every month. On this day, our whole family always goes to the cinema hall to see the film. My father gets the tickets in advance and all of us, my grandmother, my parents, my two brothers and I take the bus there. In the interval, my father buys us peanuts and I love to sit in the darkness of the hall, eating and watching the film. Afterwards, we always stop to eat ice cream. Everyone is in a good mood and we all are, we all feel very lucky that we are such a happy family. So this is regarding Peter. So he loves watching movie in the hall as in forms and they love eating ice cream also in the last. Entire family feels happy because they are happy family. So in today's life, like parents are so busy due to work pressure, despite of others, sometimes it happens, we miss the time spending with the children. When mama used to sit with us or I play with dad. So in this situation, Peter is feeling so lucky that one Sunday when they all go and watch a movie, I spend a good day together and finally feels that they are a very happy family. So in this chapter, we have read about different children who are of the same age, but their choices, their opinions, likings, their dislikings differ. But desires and wishes are quite different. So you are different, unique. So choices and preferences also vary. Intelligence level differs. Priorities differ. So here is the summary of this chapter. This chapter will take us through the lives of six different people. It tries to explain that every person on earth is different, yet interesting in their own ways. To prove this point, the author describes six people in the lesson. First up is Radha who loves climbing trees. In fact, it's her favorite activity. However, her mother always asks her to not to do it. One day, her mother also climbs up the mango tree with Radha outside their house. 
they talk to each other and eat raw mangoes radha feels like she can conquer the whole world when when she climbs a tree next nasir owns cotton fields in his village he notices how his father spends a good amount of money to buy seeds for growing cotton plants he remembers how his grandfather once told nasir that he would collect seeds from his own plants in order to grow new plants however it doesn't work these days nasir wishes to know the reason behind it moreover he also wants to learn the art of preserving seeds this way he'll be able to use them again and save a lot of money rohit is the next person which the author talks about he loves traveling and wishes to go around the world if he gets enough money similarly he wishes to visit the mountains in new zealand and the amazon river in the south america further rohit also wants to enjoy the serene beaches in lakshadweep and the konark temple in odisha likewise his other favorites are the old city of beijing in china and the pyramids of egypt sarbjit is the next person who remains angry with most of the people in his life it's because no one trusts him when he tells the truth his teacher thinks that he is lying when he says that he couldn't complete his homework because his book was borrowed by ravi similarly his parents never believe him when he tells them that it is his little brother who started the fight the blame always falls on him so he tries to control his anger next dolma is an ambitious girl who wishes to become the prime minister of her country she possesses leadership qualities as people come to her for solving problems finally we have peter who loves and looks forward to the second sunday of the month it's the day when his whole family goes out for outing they watch a movie and eat ice cream afterwards it warms his heart to see everyone enjoying and having a nice time together as a family who i am summary explores the diversity and uniquenesses of the people uniqueness of the people it takes us through experiences of different people and their unique personality traits it's a practice time number 1 question both nasir and dolma are very ambitious kids and have specific goals that they wish to achieve in the future what are their ambitions and how do they plan to achieve their goals second question is why is the second sunday of every month peter's favorite day number 3 what does sarabjit do to ensure that no one comes to know that he is angry number 4 how does radha feel high up in the tree so these are the four questions children thank you so much for being such attentive listeners during the chapter your curiosity and enthusiasm for learning make teaching a joy keep up the great work and continue to explore the wonders of 